hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel this is a series of interviews that we have been doing with uh, toppers at refrenet learning in the exam fet 2022 today we have with us dr nishita the very talented dr nishita has secured 19th rank in the exam many congratulations on this dr nishita this interview is uh, for us to discuss with you your strategy your background a little so let's start with the interview first a uh, lot of congratulations from me and from uh, our whole team and let's start uh, with the interview. Over to you, Dr. Nishita. Where did you do your UG and PG from? Let's start with that. I did my undergraduate from Assam Medical College in Dibrugar, Assam. Okay. And my post-graduation in Guwahati Medical College, Guwahati, Assam. Okay, wonderful. Uh, with, when was this? When did you finish your PG? I uh, sta um, started in 2017. I passed out in 2020, August. Okay, so recently. And then when did you decide that you will uh, do a super speciality? Uh, actually, I have been preparing for this since last year. Mm. I wanted to do uh, something extra and uh, I decided that I'll go for super I period need SS uh, last year in 2000, in 1st September, it was held in 1st September 2022. I got 101 rank and then this is my first attempt at the FET. I had first not attempted the FET before. Okay, wonderful. So when did you start preparing for this? Uh, actually, I was thinking of doing it uh, from 2021, but I had my wedding and all. Okay. So I started preparing from 2022, uh, like good preparation, if you say, like properly. Then I had been starting from February of 2022. So around a year of preparation? Around a year, ma'am. And uh, let's discuss your journey till your MS exam. Uh, how did how was your preparation? Do you think that formed a basis for uh, your preparation right now? Yes, actually, what happened? Uh, some things are basic. We learned during our PG training. Yes. If you are doing your PG in a high volume center, Guwahati mm -hmm. Medical College is a very high volume center. Of course, you learn a lot of basics and things, and they just come to you by what do you, it's like a reflex yes. some things you know by reflex so you just have to go into the finer details of it it forms the structure and you just carve the finer details with the additional things you learn okay. so i think uh, what we learned in what did you do for those finer details you had reflexes you learned those reflexes what to do in which then uh, what you do first uh, where i started ma'am you know of course we start, when I study, I used to correlate the things with what I did during my PG days. Okay. So it is easier to remember that way because yes. most of us are doing our bonds and yes. uh, we all are doing jobs or somewhere. So we are not just sitting at home and studying. Nobody can so, sit at home and study. It is not advisable so, also after MS. So that's why if we, uh, do, when we study, if we correlate with what we have learned during the PG, it yes. becomes very easy to rest and simultaneously if you solve the mcqs and uh, then these clinical based questions yes, then uh, many clinical it based questions even uh, you first you get your doubts then you get it once you get a doubt and then you get it clear you just get it etched in your brain so yes. it's and in the exam it's not possible to read everything and go right. because it's very vast so it when you vast. It just comes out of your subconscious that, yes, I have read it somewhere and it has come. Yes. You have to read so much that everything fits into your subconscious and you just somehow know the right answer. Yeah. In Easy. the day before the exam, I felt I don't know anything. Okay. But yes. uh, when, but when the question the exam, comes, you read, you understand that, like, yes, oh, you know yes, the I read it somewhere and yes. just do it. And then you know the answer. Uh, when did you join the coaching? Uh, actually, uh, it was not a continuous process for me. Okay. I had some uh, personal problem. I was shifting from Guwahati to Kolkata. And okay. so it was short courses for me. But okay. last year, three or four months, I read continuously. Every day I used to put three or four hours minimum of my time to work. At in least one topic. It is a so you, were, you were working in those last three, four months? Yeah, I was continuously working even the week before the week before you were working and along with that you would spend three to four hours which is yeah three to four uh, you hours. can do any student uh, you know we are not working for more than eight hours a day at the most and after even, that also like, yeah the, you can at least sit 
So if you are very tired, you take some easy topic like APH. You yes. already know the yes. finer details. Then less things to remember and more things to remember. Yes, to obstetric it. topics which you have practiced so much, APH, hypertension. Yeah. They are difficult. They are very important. But for you, it is easy because you have seen those patients. You know what yes, has to be done. Exactly. Some finer details have to be added to your head, to your subconscious. Yes. Yeah. So, so even if you are tired, you can read for three hours. Yeah, I, we can read it. Yes. Everybody can do that. Difficult so, topics yes. on three days. Difficult topics on Sundays. Yes, that is. Yeah, what Sundays, I off days. Gynecology, reproductive medicine, oncology, all these things in the yes. office. All the mugging topics. Yes, which you have to mug and which you have to retain. Retain endometriosis coding systems. You have to yes, practice four or five things. times writing because it. Clinically, there is not going to be any practice of endometriosis scoring system. Exactly. You have to mug that topic. Isn't it? Uh, so when was the first time you took the course? I really want to know from when you have been in touch with academics. Uh, actually, after uh, last year's knee test, uh, before I took it, but I could not do it properly. I think okay. June or July, I couldn't because there 22, was a... 22, you were saying, 22. Yeah, 22, last year only. So last yeah. total of six months only you have prepared. Ha, yeah, malab, you can say the that six months of proper preparation was Proper there. preparation. Proper before preparation. taking the classes, what were your sources? What all you were reading? Uh, actually, I used to do this. Sakshi Aurora was very helpful. Yes, and, you have, that's a basic book that you have to complete. Have to complete, yeah. And uh, some other notes I had made. So I was reading those. Your own also. notes you were reading. Yeah. Plus, uh, we had the William study guide. Okay. Study guides are there. Some okay. ops and gani and those. Oh, yes, William study guide, those MCQ yeah. questions. Yes, which yes, we are yes, discussing yes. now. Right. Uh, so after taking the classes, would you make your own notes or... Uh, you read only from the app? Uh, actually, if you can make your own notes, some topics I made my own notes, but the problem is that it's a very tedious affair. Yes. So, noting everything by hand, everything I, by hand. When I did it, but uh, it was a very tedious affair. Yes. So, if you're working, and I suggest only the important topics, which have a lot of mugging up to do, that you can, plus the test series, the questions which you don't know, then you those you can add in the notes. That would be helpful. Otherwise, a lot of topics can be read and memorized directly from the app. Yeah, directly. Directly can be done. This is yes. what I need to tell to students that either you make your own notes or read from the app. Both ways it is mm. going to be time effective. If you have one year, you can make all the notes. If you have three to four months, read most of the topics directly from the app. Them. And important, the ones which you will forget, you make it a point to make notes of those topics. Wonderful. Uh, did you read any books in these three, four months? Spear of Barak and Hacker? No, ma'am. I did not, could not manage any time so for This that. is also important that in the last one year to six months of preparation, big books are not... No, uh, you know, it is very difficult is to remember actually. Yes. You will take four days to complete one chapter of Spear of and then fifth day you will not remember anything. Maybe anything. one or two lines you will remember. So you can't waste so much time reading books. Reading books is for those who are in first or second year of PG, I believe. Yes, ma'am to understand the concepts. Uh, right. So uh, ex tell me your exam strategy. Had you decided anything? How many you will mark? And how many did you actually mark? Uh, actually, my strategy was that uh, I wanted which, uh, like the answer is there. I'm 80% sure that this is the answer. Then I'll mark it. Okay. If it is that I don't know anything about it, they, are, they were like one uh, medical legal question about some okay. form in empty. I did not know that. Yes, so I did not mark it because there is negative marking. Because you don't know anything from A, B, C, D. Uh, anything. So I did not mark anything. But so those know. where I was almost sure, I marked two. So how just many after, total did you mark? I marked, uh, I just remember that I left, I think, seven questions. Seven Six questions. Or seven questions I and left. you marked, uh, it was almost a other. Mark. Yeah, almost 93 I marked. 93. So this is the average people leave 5 to 10 questions. Those who have got rank. Uh, wonderful. So any uh, any tip you would want to give to those preparing for the next FET exam? There's maybe 9 to 10 months or 12 months now. Yeah, I will actually tell them to please do MCQs. Okay. MCQs, more and more MCQs because if you do MCQs, it is easier to remember than just studying, studying and studying. So if you, uh, it will clear your concepts, 
and remembering for me it is easier if i do interview i make a mistake then i say oh i made a mistake and then i remember it properly yeah. so uh, what actually, are the sources people, of mcqs that you would suggest yeah they are very both sakshi or as a must hmm. william study guys the app repronet app has a lot of questions yes so you I can have plus 4000 questions there yeah plus there are some groups they just put some mcqs every day 10 mcqs so even if you do those mcqs 7 or 8 months before the exam somehow they just get set into your subconscious and you just remember that in the exam so practicing mcqs is what you would say because it's and like a game it's like playing a game basically yes cannot uh, Everything. one more important thing i wanted to discuss is after the fet exam student had messaged me that there were two sections and because of those two sections they had uh, some confusion in the paper that they had to finish section a in uh, some uh, 20 40 minutes something and section b in so yeah. it was divided so what was yeah. it like so actually what happened there were 40 questions in the first set so yes. when you finished the first the timer was set already so okay. if you finish they will automatically save it Uh, i don't know what confusion was there but it will just save it and next it will reload itself with the 60 question set 60 questions were so, from the specialty 60 questions were from spe- sub specialty specialty so instead of being a 100 mark 100 minute paper it was divided into two sections yeah so what happens is when you start the paper you think that you have got one hour and you leave some questions for review to do it at the end of the hour No, uh, ma'am. There is a timer set already. Yes, so some corner. students did not know that they'll oh. only get forty minutes for the first section. Oh, acha. I saw the timer. Uh, that confusion was there with some students. So you have to know there will be two sections. Hmm. So this is how it is. No, two sections. One section. Two sections, and the timer is set. The yes. moment that timer goes off, all the questions you have done, they will save it, it and the saved. other will so load it. You well. cannot review those question number one cannot be reviewed at the last. No, moment. no. No, no. Only forty minutes for one paper. Only time management is important. Time management is important. That's why questions those are lengthy series. questions. You have to read the questions. You have to read the options. So everything has to be finished within thirty seconds, so that yeah. you go on to the next question and you can have. You cannot get review. stuck to one question for ten minutes. Yes, you cannot get stuck. That happens sometimes. And when you know that it is a one hour or hundred minutes paper, sometimes you tend to think a lot over one question. so time management is very important and then according to dr nishita solving mcqs is very important every day very important okay wonderful how helpful was uh, one frank question how helpful was repronet app uh, in your preparation it was very helpful man no oh, to be honest that's very because i did not have time to study spare of i i'm working i do not have time to study uh, this uh, david gardner or anything what i have is your notes only and uh, i think uh, this is sufficient yes it is sufficient go for some extra big big books okay. and to study that's why actually how... revision is the key yes yes this is what the next question was how many revisions did you do in these 3 4 months uh, i suggest minimum 3 revisions 3 revisions of the app of the notes in the app whatever you are studying you study that again and again don't read again new again. things in the last one month yes it is of your of no because you will not remember the more you uh, repeat it the more it will be etched in your memory okay so in your notes what all were there what were the sources of those notes that you made ma'am your notes were there plus yes. uh, i added uh, the points from the test series which were some things were not there yes so I, uh, i tend to uh, you know include extra ah, some in topics test you yes, put in the which are not covered in the classes will be covered in the test series so i put that and plus extra if i find anything i just uh, write it with some different coloring like pink or red so, so main thing was repronet uh, notes and yeah. test series questions and then whatever you would add from uh, the yeah, all the book from other mcqs you would write or uh-huh. wonderful uh, it was so nice having you over dr nishita uh thank you so much for your time and for this interview these interviews are very important for the next batch students uh, there are many students yeah. you know eagerly waiting for the interviews of the fet toppers uh, yeah, it's so an th- honor to meet you actually thank you so much uh, we'll stay in touch dr nishita yes ma'am i will call you keep calling you i'll message you whenever i need you right i need yes, that help from you okay yes, so uh 